Sorry, bro. Potatoes. I have some mail time stuff, and the one I opened, I was so excited. I just opened it. I didn't know what exactly it was. I know kind of what these are. Uh, not just this power cord here. But these are from Elgin Industries. So we can kind of surmise. Like I said, I reached out to them and I was like, hey, I'm building another car. Do you guys want to be part of this project? And they were like, uh, yes. So I said, uh, you know, I'm not asking for anything, but if you would like to uh, shoot me some stuff, we can talk about it otherwise, or, you know, whatever. And they're like, what do you want? <laughs> we'll just send it to you. So I expressed interest in, well, I said I need a sloppy stage two cam for my 838 build, which you guys saw go in. And then there was a production line. They were out of the warehouse of sloppy stage three cam, which I've always wanted to try in something and I have not. I think people on sloppy have used it. I mean, just according to sheer numbers alone, people have to have used this. So they weren't in the warehouse. So he's like, I'm a couple weeks out. When we get them in, I'll send them to you. And then I also said, hey, uh, I have always heard of stuff about push rods, you know, and I would love to test them because people say the push rods are worth it. And I'm sure maybe at some point they are, but I would like to see if they are, see if you have a mild cam and a mild spring and stock valve train, I'm not so sure there's a big difference or any difference at all in the horsepower or valve train stability because there's simply not a lot of duration lift ramp angle all of that stuff isn't very bad so you, i don't think you're going to get a lot of deflection at least i don't think i'm not an expert but i said i'd love to test some push rods so i'm like send me like stock replacement send me he, he's like we have three or four main kinds of drop-in push rods and one of them's like a coated and one of them is like a hybrid 50-50 material, I think. And then one is like a thick wall stock head and base, but a really hard, thick, ha, huh, push rod. So to have almost no deflection, but it does add weight to the valve train also at some point. So, you know, I, I kick around this stuff back and forth. So what I'd love to do is when we're knee deep in testing, I would love to swap the push rods on the don't BS me style combo with the sloppy stage two pack 1218 stock cylinder heads and see if they do anything even if it's like 10% more power or 5% or something any measurable amount would be cool especially on such a mild combination but I'm sure at some point maybe it won't do anything at all but I think a, a very aggressive camshaft would benefit so they sent me all slew of push rods and I think I hear I hear push rods in here and then this is some other stuff. I, they sent me valve springs too. And then a really cool item. I was literally looking into buying one of these after my thing, a load leveler or something of some sort. Uh, hey Matt, we saw in a recent video you put on YouTube, you were shoving that 4.8 race warrior into your SN95. So we thought you might appreciate one of our new FabBot engine lift plates. Apparently he just made the, I'll show you the lift plate in one second. Hold your, hold your horses. It has enough holes Swiss cheesed into it to bolt to an LS engine, a four barrel carburetor, a two barrel carburetor, or pretty much any other bolt pattern you might come across to allow it to lift any engine you need. Hope this helps out with you around the shop. We look forward to meeting you soon. P.S. I've added a few extra packing peanuts in here just for you. So they saw my original video where I was like, oh, I'm so stressed out about the packing peanuts giving me so much anxiety. So he gave me a sticker and then he gave me this badass plate and it has the LS bolt patterns and like two bolt, four bolt, like all sorts of bolt patterns in there. And it has three different lift points, like if it's back heavy or front heavy or whatever. And then assumingly you can move this up and down the engine and then choose a lift point. And it's made out of steel and it's, it's painted or powder coated or something, but it looks like it'll last a long time. And uh, people said there's obviously more expensive and I think there's a super cheap one. <laughs> What's funny is I posted this on sloppy and i was like hey they're they're selling this and i think that's a really good price 29 dollars all american made and cut and uh, they do all of it and then they weld it and then they ship them out and i think it's a cool company and like i said uh my neighbor is doing the 
the FabBot AR5 transmission manual swap plate and kit, and I'm excited to see how that turns out. And then also the owner had done that as a way to reach out to me because he wants to do extreme reliability and horsepower testing on his unit in his swap Colorado, which I think was uh, partially influenced by what I do. So it's a Colorado, and he's trying to make eight, 900 horsepower and, go, and use the five-speed to go nines. So he wants to finish building that and bring it out for me to do some tuning and testing and drive it back. And it's like, it's it's like twenty some hour drive or more. There, I I forget. It's far. So anyway, they're crazy, and uh, that interests me for them doing all that crazy stuff. So I was like, check it out, and they sold out in like forty minutes. Apparently, the sloppy tax is super real, and uh, people were saying you can buy ones on like. People were posting links. There's like a twelve dollar one. On like Napa or something else like that but I think this one's cool and I think it's cool to support uh, him and what he does and it seems like he saw a place in the market for the trans adapter and he saw a place in the market for this and he just made it so I like people that are willing to do that or or jump on something or and I think it's important even if I don't even know how he makes any money on the damn thing <laughs> at that price but I think it's cool to support people that are willing to take those leaps for if we find something that's cool or useful or neat and uh, they'll jump in it and support it. So I like to support them. Even though they sent it to me for free, I would have bought one for $30 anyway after my last debacle. I'll consider getting one of those load levelers or whatever. So yes, I believe this is Sloppy Stage 3 cam. I'll use my Elgin Industries knife that they so graciously provided in my last gift bag. They're awesome. These guys are awesome. Oh yeah, there's a cam in here and there's push rod replacements. Of course. Quality push rods, high performance it says, four pieces. So they come in four piece boxes. And then this is the Slappy Stage 3, which is like a 238, 242. Something like that. Maybe there's a cam card in here for somebody. There is. Two thirty-eight, two forty-two. Dang! I hit it right on the nose. Yep. So that's what it is. Two thirty-eight, two forty-two. Now, I considered putting this in a turbo motor, but I think it'll just be too big, too much overlap. So it would be really awesome if I can get one of my friends to go from a mild cam to this if they're going to stay all motor. I was thinking about hitting up Chad Cooksan. Are you watching this? Chad, maybe we can put this in your C10. I think he has a sloppy stage 2 in the C10 and he just did a high rise intake and all sorts of craziness. It would be cool to put this thing in and then see the gains from the stage 2 to the stage 3. Now that would be something to write home about. That's what I like to see. Old school LS1 with the cam and the swap and the difference and everybody learns. So what's in here? More goodies. I'm glad I didn't knife very hard. What is this? A polo? You guys are insane. What is this? It's a whole work shirt. It's a work shirt? A blue button down they're full they're fully button downs not polos and a sweatshirt <laughs> there's just two button downs and a sweatshirt they all wear those to work uh, they sent me more hats again these are incredible this is way too much stuff guys I gotta organize some sort of giveaway valve springs valve springs so yeah these are basically their high performance valve springs they're base they're packed full of 18s I think I, I would have to check with them, but I'll say it out loud. I think they make pack valve springs. Elgin makes like everything. What I didn't realize when I talked to him and got a nice update is he's like, uh, for like 40 years, we made GM camshafts and push rods and pretty much every domestic engine. I think they still do for the Hemis. Uh, Chevy moved a lot of their stuff to Mexico. If you're into politics, you probably heard a bunch about that. And they sent me catalogs. Man, I'd love to give some people these catalogs. Where is... Let's see if we can find Sloppy Stage 2 cam in here. Where are... There's lifters? 
Look at all the stuff they make. Chrysler, Chevy. Marine camshafts. Performance camshafts. Oldsmobile, Pontiac, Ford. Ford 8-cylinder. Chrysler, Chevy. Where is 1870? We're getting there. 1858. It says in here in their catalog now for the 100 year. Big block. Chevrolet LS. <laughs> right here. This is so cool. It's in their 100 year catalog. Uh... Eighteen. <laughs> Let's see here. Let me get this on the camera here. This is this is awesome. So here's the catalog, and it says here E eighteen forty P, and you can get a special black ice coating on that cam too. That'd be cool to get. But then it has a little star, and the star down here says Sloppy Stage Two Cam, <laughs> right in there. And then I think I got the eighteen forty one. Yeah, this is Sloppy Stage Three unofficially. And then I think there's an 1839, 220, 224. This is a, man, there's a lot of them. 212, 218, 218, 227. The 216, 220 is the unofficial sloppy stage one, 1838. 1839. Yeah, there's so many. There's actually a lot in here. I didn't know there was a 220, 224. There's a lot of in-between ones. 228, 1838. The 216, 220 is what we tell people is the stage one. And the 228, 230, 1840. That's a big boy right there. And then uh, here it even says overlap. 73 degrees, 60 degrees. Anyway, very cool. I'm in their catalog. I'm forever burned into your memories whether you like it or not. So, that was a nice haul. I'm really, uh, I, it's too bad I just put the motor in. I would love to have used that. For sure we'll be working on it and pulling something out. So, yeah, anyway, if you are local and you know me and you're interested in doing this Sloppy Stage 3 test, I don't think I will be using it as a turbo camshaft, unfortunately. I'd have to see if, I'd have to ask someone who is proficient with blowers if it may be a good blower cam but man that seems huge for blower also it seems like just a big all motor cam it seems very similar to like a magic stick ms3 or whatever ms4 but there we go there's another mail time haul